Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Soul Squad. Good morning, guys. Now, we got some math, math. And you know what? I forgot to do this a weekend recap. My time will change the title later on. One person in, one person like. Good morning to you, and thank you for being the first. We got two likes. Mm. Got to get it together, y'all. I was up all night. I ain't going to bed at 6.30 this morning. Another one of my sleeping situations. What's up, Bill? Hey, Xavier. Another one of my sleeping situations. So I'm sorry to come to y'all in my bonnet and everything. I, I'm i trying to get it up and get it together. Hey, Jay. Hey, all thanks, Tay. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good night. Wherever, wherever you are. So I got a cup. I got to say, I got one announcement to make. This one. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Superstar. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Rita. Hey, Cece. Hey, Michelle. Oh, uh, thank you once more. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm about to move on. Get ready for the next competition. And, um, who? Hey, Antoinette. Happy Monday, Antoinette. Yes. Hey, Angela. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Miss Wanda. Good morning, Soul Squad. I know my sister watched She just ain't in the chat because I just got off the phone with her. She's like, you going live? I'm like, girl, I'm going live. Every day before 12. Monday through Friday before 12. <sighs> Y'all had to kick crazy dreams. Good morning. I don't know because I went to bed late. I was up. Hey, CT family. Good morning. Good morning. I guess enough of us in here. Enough of us in here. But by looking at these likes, I you know what I, I would think it was just 16 people. <laughs> by looking at these likes, I would think it's just 16 people in the house. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Moreau. Okay, bro. There we go. 17. Let, let the math match, y'all. Okay. What we gonna do? What we always do? What I know you guys do when y'all was me in the morning. And what we always gotta get thanks to is the man of stage. So are you guys ready? Hey, Miss Woods. How you doing? I, I like to thank God for waking us up. To spend another day with our family and friends because that long clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Okay. And I know he's been on my side because, girl, Soul Squad, this sleep thing, hey, D Queen, me, um, this sleep thing is this, hey, Valerie, it's got me like one minute I think I'm good, the next minute. Girl, you up until 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning, okay? Hey, Shelly. Hey, Yvette. Not a day without him, Yvette. Yes. Not a day without him. Yes, it was Palm Sunday. And I'm going to say something to you guys that, you know, I don't, I don't do church. I ain't pushing God on nobody. My journey is my journey. My faith is my faith. Y'all journey is y'all journey. How y'all accept him, that's on you. Your God, your way. My God, my way. But he's all our God, okay? And um, yesterday when we went to church, um, my um, pastor, Mr. Johnson, he said something that was like really real. And I said, I'm going to say this to somebody out here. Um he talked about, minister about yesterday, is that people using you and allowing the people to use you. and But we're not allowing God to use us. We allow the people that could break our heart, the people that uh, run over top of us, the people that take advantage of us. We allow them to use us over and over and over again. And But some reason... 
We don't allow God to use us. Why is that? He is the one that's, that's giving you all your blessings. He is the one that make you prosper in this world. He is the one that wake you up every morning. But yet we do not allow him to use us. We do not have faith in him. And so that's, I just want to touch on that real quick. That's what our um, sermon was about yesterday on Palm Sunday. I, you know, my memory is shot, but we get videos afterwards and stuff. But that part really stood out for me because for years I did allow people, you know, in my eyes, they weren't using me. And other people, I, people outside your box, outside your wheelhouse, they will see things around you. But when you're in it and you feel like you're just generally helping people and you're helping people, and sometimes you find yourself in a repetitive circle where it's the same person that you continually to help, but nothing changed in their situation. And you done made their situation your situation. You done put their stress on you. And God didn't tell you to do that. Did I tell you to go help somebody? This is basically what he was saying. I, did I tell you? You're supposed to help yourself. Start with yourself. If you're going to allow certain people to take advantage of you, or if you're going to allow certain people to use you, hey, oatmeal cream pie, how you been, lady? Nice to see you in the chat. Stand up for him. We stand up for everybody else. We don't stand up for ourselves and we don't stand up for the man upstairs. But we stand up for all the people around us who who unfortunately sometimes doesn't mean well to us. And we, we don't always see it because we had open hearts. We had generous hearts and we feel like we gotta be there to save everybody. And so some some a friend or somebody might pull you to the side. Don't you know so and so using you and you constantly allowing that use? So if you could constantly allow man to use you, it's time to open up the door. It's time to open your heart and it's time to have faith. It's time to let God use you. Let him use you in a way where you could be bountiful to someone else so that you could spread the word to someone else. So that someone else could see your enlightenment and notice that mm, there's a change in you and there's a good change because you to open your heart up to the man upstairs. So instead of allowing man to use you, you are now allowing the one man the one person that should be using you and that you should have faith in and that you should allow to use you is God. So that's just a quick message I wanted to bring in to everybody. You know what our sermon was about. It was more deep and more more deep and more profound on yesterday. But that was just something that I just I just took away because I felt that because I had been there when that um people that you know people that told me you know they just use you hey see sister um you get used and sometimes you can feel like you being used um so at the end of the day stop letting man use you stop letting man use you if you're not aware of someone's using you you're not aware of that situation just sit back and think about things and, and um recalculate your life and the people around you and then let god use you let him open your eyes up to so many things. Let him be your guide and ship and your guide and light. So at the end of the day, you know, he's always there for you. He always have your back. You just got to put the faith in him and the faith in yourself and open your heart. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You know, one thing I really, that's all I'm going to say about that because everybody religion is their religion. But I just wanted to talk on, I just wanted to step on what my pastor said yesterday. And it just was just, um... You know, I felt it because I've been that done that. You know, I've been I've been that person that people that use the um it, it for the littlest things that you know I've been there and I didn't recognize that till other people told me. You know, and so my past was just like you know, if you're gonna allow man to use you. You're supposed to allow God to use you. Don't allow man to use you. Open your heart and your faith up to God and allow God to use you. You know, because he's going to use you in a good way. He's going to use you in a way that benefits you, that benefits others. He's going to guide you towards enjoyment, to financial gain, to um, to happiness, you know, into faith. So if anybody needs to use you, it's the man upstairs. So anybody on this platform today who didn't know... Hey, Michelle, if you did, I'll read Michelle comment, y'all. If you didn't know, you know now. 
You know now. So open yourself up. Don't be afraid because he's not here to hurt you. The person that's here to hurt you is the people, the humans. You know what I'm saying? The people that you constantly call yourself helping. The people who you keep picking up the phone for. The people who you keep you people people who you keep um running to and things are not changing. The people that's stressing you out. The people that got you tired. You're not even tired off your own stuff. You're tired off somebody else's stuff. You're tired of someone else's problem. We got to stop being tired of someone else's problem. We got to open our eyes up. We got to stop letting other people use us. Open your heart up to God. Let him use you. And everything that he touches on you is going to be great. You're going to feel it. And people will see the difference. You ain't got to tell them. Like I tell you, when you walk with your head, when you walk with your head held high and people see the, um, the arch in your back, and the stroke in your foot, like you run, like you a runway model, they're gonna know something's changed about you. They're gonna know you ain't gotta say it. You ain't gotta say it. Hey, true queen. So um, that's why I just wanna say, cause that I got that, you know, like I say, every time I go to church, you know, on my Zoom and 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 Bible studies on Wednesday, you gotta walk in silence. Yes, you um his his um ministry his um sermon always seemed to hit home with me it is like dang girl and he said that too he even said that too about like when he he said that too when he do sermons and you feel like i'm so he said i don't gotta call your name out i don't gotta call your name out like he told us yesterday i ain't gotta point to you i ain't gotta call your name out when i get up here and speak you know who i'm speaking to you feel, you know who is direct to. And I was like, wow, he on point this Palm Sunday. He is like on point. Yes, because that's all the time. And I always reference to that. When he get up there, open up his mouth, get to speaking. I always reference to the point. I felt like it was coming directly at me. So he, so he like, he's, God is coming through him to reveal this to somebody. You know what I'm saying? God is coming through him to reveal this to somebody. He needs to say this because somebody's sitting here in these pews on this Zoom, on this phone call. That's like what he said. Somebody sitting here, right here in this church. People on the phone call, people on the Zoom. I ain't got a point to you. What I'm saying, what I'm saying right now, you know it's you. It's directed to you. I was, I was like, oh my goodness. He is, he is going in today. But uh, it was a good Palm Sunday. It was a good service. Um, I did. I paid my tithes and everything, and it was good. I'm. I'm. I'm in. I was elated. I just can't wait until. I uh, hate faith. I can't wait until Wednesday into Bible study. Cause unfortunately, I had missed Bible study last week. Cause y'all, it was Thursday. I'm Thursday, thinking it was Wednesday, Thursday evening, looking for Bible study. And I was like, we ain't doing Bible study today. And then I look up, I said, oh my goodness, day Thursday. I said, I didn't miss Bible study yesterday. So I'm going to start setting some type of alarm. I don't, I don't miss it on Sundays, but on Thursday. You know, on Wednesday, somehow I, my mind is not. And it's like, and I don't know, because of lack of oxygen, because I ain't sleeping well. You know, when you don't sleep well, you know, things, you know, things can happen. So I'm not, I'm, I don't sleep well. And that's, that's for sure. And um, so I was really upset that I had missed Bible study on Wednesday. So I made a point to be up yesterday, made the point to, you know, to be on time and get up in there and, you know, and get my word in. Because I was very upset when it was a Thursday and I'm looking for a Wednesday Bible study on a Thursday. So y'all know I was lost. I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. But that's what I wanted to say because somebody made somebody made me to hear this. Um, how does us do our recap? How was your weekend recap? Man, I had the best weekend ever. But before we get started on next, I was gonna do this because y'all see my girl essay graphic is in the chat. 
Um, I'm just letting everybody know. Let's get SA Graphic a shout out. Y'all, if you need any editing, any t-shirts, any type of graphic work, any type of thumbnails, you need anything done, go check SA Graphic out on um SA Graphic. Pick that thing up. I think it's FIBA. Um, I talk about that all the time. She's on that, and you could go on there, you could book her for like um thumbnails um designs um you even could book her for what's the thing it's called when you try to give logos um t-shirts um anything you got a lot of you guys that used her in the past um so if anybody if you know of anyone who's looking for someone any type of um um um, the, um what's she called graphic person any type of thumbnails and you're trying to get any logos done or you're trying to get any t-shirts done check out our girl sa graphic put your information in the, in the chat um you know you live in india so i know you're up and it's probably evening time or nighttime there and um um, put the link on here that you um that you work through, or, or put your email in here with someone to contact you. She didn't have got a lot of people. Um, I introduced her to Soul Squad. So if you don't need any, if you don't need anything done, excuse me, pass her information on. She's welcome and opening up to all incoming clients. Hey Jacqueline, so if you need anything, you know, you guys have been noticing my thumbnails, cause that's my girl. If you ain't been noticing the new food thumbnails, if you ain't been knowing the the blog thumbnails, cause that's my girl. I went in yesterday. <laughs> yeah, essay graphic. That was amazing. Thank you so much. I went in on not yesterday, but on Saturday. I be checking my analytics and stuff to my videos, and I went into the video with me and my granddaughter. My granddaughter walks my face. Girl, you done put a whole new, brand new um, thumbnail up there that, that cause you gotta know thumbnails drive people to your page. So if you out here being a YouTuber and you don't know how to um get them thumbnails, she's very reasonable. She will work with you. She's a great spirit and soul. You know, I would not recommend her if I had ever had any issue with working with her. She's very open. She listened to you. She made changes if you need to make changes. And yeah, and I went on there. I said, she didn't change my thumbnail. I was like, okay, this thumbnail look good. It was very warm. It's very inviting. It say, come watch me, come click on me. So, um, my thumbnails are a testimony of her work. So if you guys want to see what type of work that she does, she also have a website. Uh, um, I'm a YouTube page that she put her work on. Um, check out some of my thumbnails. And thank you, GMB. And you most definitely um see the um the brilliant work that she does for me. Um, she has done some work for my sister Tia in the past. Uh, past she didn't help us out a lot. So, yeah, and that's all her trust. It's not me because <laughs> I can't make a thumbnail to save my life. OK, um, this, uh, so once she put her information in, guys, just grab it. Um, um, the website, you could get her off and then her email essay, you know, do what you got to do. Promote yourself. Put it up in the um, in the comments. Like I said, if you don't need anything, pass her on, pass her on. Yes, my Gabby yesterday that wax video was so funny. Yes, I'm so happy to see um see um SA Faith says she needs you. So put your information up here, Faith. When she put her information up here, I'm gonna see if I can pin it because they have stopped me from pinning it. Oh, congratulations to your son Faith. Tell him to keep up the good work. Okay, this is her stuff. Let me see if I can pin. I don't want to go to the website. See, for some reason I can't pin. I don't know why that my pen is not up here. I don't know what's going on with that, but I can't pen anymore right now. Um, not on my live anywhere, in, in, anyway. But yeah, so let's do a weekend recap. Weekend recap was wonderful. Again, I want to give a couple of shout outs and I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, you're talking about this taco challenge again. But I just want to say, if you didn't know, I put up a video, a short, to show you guys the food that actually made me um, made me win the taco challenge, 
Um, I want to shout out DC Kool Aid and Lisa um, Production again. DC really came through to your girl. She was very encouraging when I was not encouraging to myself. Uh, when I was very nervous and vulnerable in this contest, I was I was like, oh, I'm not gonna win. I'm not I'm not gonna get the food made. I just don't have enough time. She was you know she was there for me. So you know thank you again for that DC. And afterwards we had an after party. On one, we had an after party win, a celebration win on my live um, on Saturday, and it was just the best time. I, I haven't had that much fun on a live in a long time. It was surely overdue. It has surely been missed for that just that good camaraderie and laughter with a friend. I haven't done that in a while, and so that was a good man. That was a good live. I was twisted. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I haven't had any um any type of alcohol, drink, beverage, rum, punch, or anything in a long time. And so I made my old, my long old friend, um, Mac Lovin' Juice, and she did not let me down. She never do. And it was just a good vibe, good camaraderie, you know, with my family, with DC. And I hope we, you know, get together and do that again. Um, it, it, ooh, ooh, guys, I'm just bite you or just get a quick itch. Ooh. So it was one. And then, y'all, go check out um, ODS. Um, um, his that page name is D Spot Mukbang at AM, AS, mm, ASMR. ASMR, ASMR, you know they do that. Yeah, the after party was hilarious. Yeah, so he was great. Um, his thing was very professional, um, very well put together. Again, I felt like I was on a Food Network in a contest. It was it was ran very organized. Um, shout out to just Krista, who is a YouTuber who who um allowed me and who introduced me to the um contests and allowing me from taking place in them. You no know, shout out to her and her contests and her introduced me to um ODS and you know everybody was just it was just a wonderful thing and um yeah so I got my Kimmy um y'all I got the um seasoning I used it yesterday. I'm just gonna say one thing. The video will be up today. Um, I made Sunday night dinner. I made pot roast, garlic butter, herb, mashed potatoes, and I'm calling it that because um, because I use my homemade mashed potatoes and them things was delicious. I don't know what she got going on over there, but that garlic butter herb seasoning, it is it's the truth. It really turned my mashed potatoes into something very flavorful. And I was like, okay. I was telling my son, I said, this is this is a cabinet staple now. I said, I know I bought it just for the contest, but I made homemade mashed potatoes and that garlic butter herb, man. If you try to make some garlic butter mashed potatoes, y'all see the video on my food channel, my video on processing editing now. Um that thing is delicious. It's what I turn my mess into. I said, I know when I make homemade mashed potatoes, that's 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 my new go-to seasoning. I ball my I ball my potatoes and chicken seasoning, chicken broth. You know, that's one step. Then I sprinkled in some of that herb and it all cooked up together. Then I went to go mash it and I add a little bit more and I add some garlic powder. Uh, I'll probably do it next week. Um, I'm not gonna do it this week. I'll probably do it next week. The taco dessert is like because I already got my videos for this week coming. I got I got my Sunday dinner video coming up today. I only do two food videos a week. Then I got another video coming up by Thursday or Friday. So I do two food videos a week. And um I'm trying to wait because You had add garlic powder. Yeah, I did add a little bit garlic powder, but it wasn't even that because before I add the garlic powder, you know, I tasted it. And um that herb, that garlic butter herb just make it taste something different. Yeah, Bill, I saw that when I got on. I said, Ooh, thank you. You recognize that too. I said, Your girl got 13,000 subscribers over here. Okay. I saw that when I when I went to go do the live. Um no, it was just good. It's it's a good seasoning. It really is a good seasoning. I get props when process is given, you know. 
excuse me so it's a really good seasoning so i'm so excited on a on a dish that i'm going to do you know we got to talk about the dish that i'm doing for her contest so i just ordered all my food so i'll keep you guys posted on when my video get hopefully my video be uploaded by wednesday it most definitely be uploaded before the 31st the video to enter her contest we got to the 31st but i ordered my food to be here today so uh, i'm most definitely going to um do the video and it'll be up by the, it'll be up by no later than wednesday um my new food video i did sunday dinner be up today um i got an upcoming product um product review video that's coming up on this channel i got an upcoming product review video and i got a short coming up on this channel um i bought this dress from tiktok you know i've been buying a lot of i you know one thing i would say that god has been blessed me with these two wins that i have been able to really pull into my into my page you know i told you guys that um things have been slow that's why i ain't been doing things on my page but um working with just krista her introduced me to these contests and me really having a lack of faith in myself but you know god pulled me through and, and calmed me down and you know i won both contests and doing that it allowed me to purchase things for my blog channel so i got i, I got three sets of clothing three sets of different clothing hauls coming um because when the first contest i was able to order some stuff from um she in and then the week before that my son had gave me some money and i was able to order some stuff from um tiktok so i got clothes coming from tiktok my first win with just krista i ordered clothes from she in and then my second win i ordered some more outfits from she in along with shoes so all that stuff is coming in this week so guys you guys gonna actually besides my morning check-ins <laughs> and um you i guys will actually get some extra content of clothing hauls because you know summertime is coming you know it's about to be a hot girl summer ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it's about to be a hot girl summer me being a hot girl sorry <laughs> my old 54 but old, but no but no but it's time you know summertime is coming you know, I don't do much i do have a patio and um i want to fix my patio hopefully maybe you know with all my videos gonna maybe get a sponsorship for some patio furniture or something but yeah but it's time to get the patio ready it's time to pull out the drawers from the grill it's time for some nice beautiful sundresses nice blouses and stuff like that it's time to write i'm about to start showing my face again on my youtube channel um on my food channel um hope i'm i'm I'm, I'm aiming to start that next week. Yes. And so God has just been working. He just been working just when, you know, when I decided that we're going to do what? Hashtag unstoppable. Thank you, honey. When I decided that and, 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 and decided that this is going to be it, this is going to be it. When I decided to commit to my consistency, because that was, that's, that's what was holding you back. When you find out what's holding you back and you get your mindset into it people soul squad you could do anything that you want to do having faith in the man upstairs and having faith in yourself you we are our own worst enemy we stop ourselves so when you decide that you're going to finally do something you could do it you want to get it done i didn't think that i could do this um being consistent you know, I didn't think that I could be consistent. I don't know what was blocking me because that's all I ever heard. All these successful YouTubers, all these successful financial YouTubers, that's all they kept saying. Consistency is key. And I knew this, but for some reason, I was in my own head, you know, overthinking, being an overthinker, sabotaging myself without knowing. That's right, faith. Pass that on. That's what that's what that's what it's about. We we're here to pass unstoppable on. Like I said, we're gonna make this a thing. Hashtag unstoppable. We we're gonna make this a thing. But um, hey Taylor, what's up, girl? So when you get it in your head, and I got it in my head that I want to change my finances. I I I'm 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 on a 
I'm on a platform that I could do it. I am I'm my only hold back. I'm holding myself back. Why are you doing this? I don't know. I was in my brain thinking people don't want to see this. People don't want to see that. Oh, this is going to be boring. And then I just realized, do what you got to do. If people don't want to see, people don't watch. Let them watch the things that they want to watch. And then I said, you know what? Since I really don't have too many blogging content, I want to commit myself into checking in because i was going through something commit myself to coming on this platform like like wendy williams did it every day oprah did it every day um uh, sally jesse raphael did it every day uh Mateo did it every day the view do it every day is this basically coming on here every day committing to a conversation to a talk to a check-in the check-in on each other but the whole time i'm working i gotta stop if i'm gonna be an entrepreneur i gotta think like one i gotta move like one i gotta feel like one i can't keep throwing this world of entrepreneurship out here when you're not living your life like it you know when you're an entrepreneur you're on your grind you're non-stop you know you always think of a different way to bring in a coin to do something but you want it to be great content you wanted to be likable content you wanted to have some meaning to it so in the means of you thinking and doing and doing and doing that's who you are you a woman you're an entrepreneur business you're an entrepreneur so if i'm all these things i gotta live life by that excuse me i gotta live by that i have to stop sabotage myself, believe in myself, have more faith in myself. Like, like somebody left in one of my comments when I was talking about on a video, it was a beautiful comment. It wasn't a bad comment or nothing because she was just like, I just don't understand why Sober T just don't have faith in herself. Um, unstoppable because you got this. And, it, and, and you know, that, it, believe it or not, that comment out of all the comments was was genuine congratulations but that comment touched me in such a way it's like you right why why i keep going back to who i'm scared i'm nervous because i don't want to think with that um i want people to be like oh you think you all that and you think you that i supposed to think i'm all that I suppose because nobody else think that you all that you got to think that you all that that way you will put your best foot forward that way you I'm not trying to show nobody else I'm all that I'm trying to show it to myself. I'm trying to live within my truth. If I keep denying how I feel about myself, keep denying that um things and stuff, I won't get nowhere. So, you know, like I said, I don't go into nothing thinking that I'm going to win, but you got to. Because if you're going into it thinking negative and thinking against yourself, things is going to happen against you. So, I appreciate that comment. And from now on, even though it's okay to have nerves, I realize it's okay to have nerves. But get out there, do you, bring your best of you. You are the best person of you. Bring that to anything, not just to competition, but life is a competition. Life is a competition. You're competing against yourself. You're competing against other people. You are competing in life. Life is a daily competition if you think about it. We, we might not encounter things with that we see it as a competition, but life is a competition. You got to put yourself first. Yes, Miss Sherry. You got to put yourself first and you got to always just have that one foot forward because you got to be ahead of the next person. Not saying just go all crazy, but just stay focused on the things that you want. Thank you, Miss Wanda. You just so life is a competition for all of us. You don't even know that you that, that you being that you that you're a competitor. You don't even know that you're competing. But honey, you're competing in life. Trust it. You are. So believe in yourself, have faith in yourself, and do what it do what it takes for you. If you're a doctor, be the best doctor you're going to be. If you're a lawyer, be the best lawyer you're going to be. If you're a mom, be that mom, be that dad, be that sister, be that auntie, be that uncle. You know what I'm saying? Be that boss. If you're somebody boss, be that boss. You know what I'm saying? Be you because you're in competition. You're in competition with yourself to even think so that you could do better. You know, tell yourself, I got this. I could do better. So I'm going to prove it to myself. We're not out here to prove things to other people. We out here to prove things to ourselves so that we can flourish. 
so that things can happen for us. And, you know, we got to start off, you know, like I said, I always want to bring this to people, religions, because it's, it's a funny subject. But one thing for sure, no matter what religion that you are, you got you can't do it alone. And you got to start off by having faith. We talk about if you're going to open your heart up, you're going to let someone use you, let God use you so that he can use you in the right way. So that he could drive you into your destiny. So he could drive you into your success. So that he could drive you on home to good things in your life. You want to be happy. You don't want to be sad. You don't want to take on other people's problems. So yeah, life is a competition. And whether you know it or not, it is. And once you start believing in yourself, Things is going to happen for you, but you got to believe in God. You got to pick God first, and then you got to believe in you. You got to be your own pick me up. You got to be your own advocate. You know what I'm saying? Life is a life. Life is like a tornado. It's going to keep going, and there's going to be casualties in your way. It's going to be casualties. You know why? It's going to be casualties because people don't like to see when you win. People don't like a winner. You know why they don't like a winner? Because they haven't discovered yet that they also can be a winner. That they also, they're, they're a winner too. But see, they haven't discovered yet. So life is like a tornado. We're spinning. We're competing. And the more successful you get, the more enemies you may make. But you're making those enemies because it's going to be based on people not being happy for you. It's going to be based on people being negative because they have not yet discovered that they are winners too. And until they find out that they are winners too, and until they find out that they got to have faith in God and have faith in themselves, until they find out that they are unstoppable and they stop getting in their way, you are going to have casualty, casualty, oh my God, somebody come up with the word casualties in your way. You know, people going to get, people going to, people, people, people going to have, they going to feel hurt. They're going to they gonna feel like you left them behind. You know what I'm saying? But it's unfortunate, but it's true. Hey, Donnie, it's unfortunate, but it's true. And we don't mean to be. It's just that we're just. um. Thank you, Lucy. And we don't mean to have those casualties. We don't mean to hurt people, but we're looking out for ourselves. Hey, my husband. What's up, Mr. Montgomery? Thank you, Miss Bridget. Um, And we don't mean to. um. We don't mean for that. We don't mean for it to happen, but you working on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're working on you. You building for yourself. You building for your family. You building for your people, for your family to have a better, a better life in the future. You know what I'm saying? So those casualties, those, those people that's getting hurt, who's upset, who's jealous, we can't worry about that. But until they discover that they are winners too. So they discovered that they could be the best person that they could be in their life. They're going to stay hurt. They're going to stay. They, they're they going to stay upset. And, you know, so at the end of the day, don't don't be an overthinker. Don't digress from who you are as a person. And, and I'm, I mean, when I hesitate and I slow down, it's because I'm reading messages. I, I try to read everybody's messages. I can't get to them all because I be talking, but I, I want to acknowledge the messages. I want to acknowledge the comments because you're taking your time to be here. You're taking your time to write down your feelings and you're taking your time to say something to me or either you saying something to someone else. So when I pause and hesitate, I'm just trying to make sure that... um. A message not coming in for me because I know you guys are talking amongst each other. And that's something that I truly adore. That's one of the things that I'm so glad. Um, hey, Miss Kathy, I am so glad that these morning check-ins is um is is helping everybody to like talk to each other, to talk to each other every day. It's like you're getting on the phone with a friend and just having that conversation every day that's need that need to be had. These check-ins are needed. Our conversation is need to be had. Thank you, Miss Paulette. And um, I don't know. It's like I tell you guys, I just never know what's going to flourish out. I am just so glad that I'm able to bring to you guys a little something. Because the same time I'm talking to you guys about something, I'm building up inside for myself. I'm pushing myself. These same words that I'm spitting out to you guys, I'm telling it to myself. I'm, I'm talking and I'm listening. I'm talking and I'm listening as well. Hey, Miss V, how you doing? I'm talking and I'm listening because I need this. It's like... 
I'm talking out loud to myself to help me understand that, you know, that I am unstoppable, that I could do that. They ain't wake up early enough. <laughs> you know what I'm telling I know everybody on different. <laughs> you know what I'm telling I know you say, you, you, I think it's 8.30 for you, wherever you at. Um, <laughs> I know everybody is on different time zones and um, everything. Oh, you woke up answering that. And, hey, Bridget. Uh, and I know we all on different time zones. So I just want to say, it's every day, Monday through Friday, uh, before 12, because I want to be a morning check-in. I don't want to be an afternoon check-in. So, hey, I do apologize for the folks that have got to get up early to get me eight, every morning before 11. But guess what? If you don't get us in the morning before 11, the replay is up. You can get your check-in at any time of the day. You don't have to be here in the morning time. But as long as you get your check-in, hey, it's going to be up there. It's going to be up there. But, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say. She said, I know they wake up at 9.30. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, y'all, we got uh, one more competition that I know of that I'm entering. Uh, wish me luck on that. I think I got this. I know I got this. Mm, excuse me. I got this. I am so excited. Um, my dish that came. Um, but look, <laughs> I told my cousin last night, I said, girl, for this competition, because y'all know I like doing dishes. That That's the only thing. I don't know if I could turn the chat replay on. Yeah, it is designed for us. Yes. Um. I said, for this competition, I said, you know I ain't doing no aluminum pan. She said, you funniest. I don't know what, cousin. I said, you know I don't like being doing this. Especially when I'm cooking big and stuff, even in my home. Man, I'm an aluminum pan chick. As less this is, I got to wash. That's 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 all right with me. But I was like, but this competition, honey, I ordered me a pretty white casserole dish. <laughs> I said, so all my stuff is here. My casserole dish is here. The season is here. Okay, Miss um, Kayla. Um, good morning. I'm, I'm fine, honey. How was your weekend? Uh, I forgot to pick a Monday morning check-in weekend recap. That's what I like to put on the Monday morning. So I will go back. I will go back and change the title because this is a weekend recap to see how all of us did over the weekend. Of course, we did good because God woke us up. We're in this chat, and, and he woke us up for a reason. So, like I said, life is a competition, so we got to get up and keep going. We got to get up and go. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, so I was like, no, I got to go on this looking good. So, <laughs> so yes, I, I'm just excited about this. Um, again, check out Hey Black and Bipolar. Uh, hey, Black and Bipolar, I see that one of our subbies is talking amongst each other, and you guys are supporting her, whatever it is that she's going through. I see you guys having words of encouragement and supporting her, and I thank you for that, um, you know, because our prayers go out every day to our Soul Squad family. You know, we pray with everything, because we don't know what everybody is going through, but everybody has a story. Everybody has a situation in their life. The thing that we need to know is that God got you. God got you. If it's something that you cannot control, don't let it stress you out. Pray to God. Even though we pray to God and we have faith in God, there are some things also that man have to contribute to. You know what I'm saying? We can't leave it all up to him. But praying to him, releasing a lot of that stress and believing in him will most, will most definitely help you through your endeavors. It was most definitely helped you in this. So anybody, any Soul Squad member, anywhere, we that you on this chat or not on this chat, I give faith to you. You know what I'm saying? I pray for you, for your situation. I pray that you allow God into your life. I pray that you believe in him. So whatever you're going through, whatever trial or anything that he set up in your way, that you will overcome. He got you. He heals all. So that go out to every Soul Squad member who's going through anything. Like I told you guys, I, I'm not a prayer. I'm a conversationalist. I conversate. I talk to God. I don't I don't know if my prayer is, I don't know. People say pray. That word prayer, I don't know why I allow it to like scare me. Because I feel like when you're saying it, it has to be so in depth. It, it look, it's looking like you're supposed to say more. But at the end of the day, I just feel like my simple conversation to him is all I need, and he got it. He hear me. That's my prayer, my conversation to him. Um, so that's that's what I'm putting out there. He got us. He's watching us now. He's seeing everything that we got today. Got to say. 
Say so to you. What do you think? Thanks, everyone in the chat. I'm honestly going to say this to you, Donnie, since I was up here talking. Hey, Skippy, up here talking. I really didn't see what was going on with the conversation that you're having with everyone. That's why I wanted to acknowledge the support that the Soul Squad members was giving you because I did not. I, I look like it's something about your son. I, I, I do know there's something that's going on with your son, but I really didn't get to see it because by me having the conversation and, you know, and reading the comments and stuff, I really didn't get to see it. And that's why I want to throw that prayer out to you because whatever you're going through, whatever soul squad I'm ever going to, I'm going to stay in prayer, stay in faith, and God will uplift you. And if you need some type of counseling, someone to help you through, go search, seek out therapy. Um, you know, therapy is good for all of us. But whatever it is that you're going through, just have faith in it. And God will see you through it. Um, it's the, it's the restraining order worth damaging the relation with your son. Um... It seems like something going on with her son um, to the point where that she has to do. Um, okay, here's the recap again. Let me see it. They want me. So, y'all, I'm not going to be saying anything real name. Someone pit up what's going on again. And it, everything is my personal opinion. It, it's not to fact, um, but I'm here to support if you got a question. So, let's see. I know something about his son. It look like it's something going on with her son. It look like I see something about a restraining order against her son. One thing for sure, it's certain things that we, we, we don't like to do because we love our children. We love our family. But if life has put you in a situation to the point that you are, you, that you are fearful and, you know, maybe that could be the best thing. So it depends on what the situation is, on how far, um, or how far things to go. But one thing I would say, anytime, for no matter who it is, if your life is in danger, you always want to protect yourself from whomever, be it a child, a father, a mother, or anything. I mean, you always want to do things by the law. But you know, certain things we just don't like to do because this is our child. I gave birth to this person, or this is my mother, or this is my father, or this is my sister. Okay, she go. She said, "My son pulled a bet on me for his um portion of the rent. I helped him get on his feet when he didn't have a job. And when I asked for the rent this morning, he got very defensive. I think he's just under pressure. Oh, he may be under pressure if he's working. If he's working and he has responsibility to you." To pay you your rent. And if he pull a bet out on you, I, I unfortunately, me as a mother of sons, I, you only got one. I don't know how many sons you have living with you. I have several. He just got on his feet. He could either instead of getting defensive, he could say, Hey mom, you know I just stopped working. This is all I have. I'll give you the rest when I can. People got to learn to communicate. A lot of people communicate so much with anger. See, I live in a house full of boys. So if one of my sons would do that, my other sons would jump on him. So I don't know, since you're in a house by yourself, I would, I, would, I would talk to him before I do a restraining order, especially when you know it's that's out of his character. And you feel like that he may be under pressure or you can see that he's under pressure and he's just getting on his feet. Um, before I do the restraining order, that's my personal opinion, that maybe pull him to the side, give him some time, and then we revisit the we revisit the situation. You know what I'm saying? We got to get um we got into a fight. I feel bad because of the whole situation, but I'm just going to put him out. I mean, those are your choices. You know what I'm saying? And that is your child. And you, you the one who has to live in that. That's your life. You know what I'm saying? That is your life. And um, but under pressure, not yeah, pulling that bet out, that's that's absolutely too far. That's too far. You know, if you can pull the bet out on me and I'm your mother, who 
Woo. That's a whole lot. But yeah, so if you want if you do that, hey, do like it's do it by the law. Cause he got to know that his actions, there are reactions to his actions. Yeah, it might be a lot going on with him. As I say, if you feel safe enough to revisit, if you feel safe enough, it's on how you feel. We don't know. We don't know the aggression of your son. We don't know the we don't know the mentality of your son. Only you know that. You don't know where he even got the bet from. But I don't want him in my house after that. And then that's your thing. Do what you got to do. And do what you got to do. If you feel like you feel unsafe. And you don't want him in your house after the day. And I know it breaks your heart because that's your son. Okay. She said, she, I'm sorry you're going through that. I am so sorry you're going through that. Oh, thank you, Lucy. You're welcome. You're welcome, Donnie. Uh, but I'm sorry for what you're going through. And I hope you be safe, honey. It's, it's a hard decision when it comes to our children because we gave birth to them, we carried them, we nurtured them, and you know, we always feel like we'd have done the best that we could do by them. And at the end of the day, who is that's a whole lot. Yes. Yeah, especially if you feel unsafe and that you don't want to go to jail tonight. If you feel unsafe. Oh, because I'm his father and he he don't pull no bet on me. Oh, you a, oh, I'm sorry. The whole time I'm thinking that you a man, a woman. <laughs> I apologize for that. Because some women named Donnie too. I don't know why I assume you was a woman. Yeah. <clears throat> and do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel safe. That's all I can say. My personal opinion. Thank you, Lucy, to make yourself feel safe. Don't put yourself in harm way for anyone. I know, Black and Bipolar, gender reveal, gender reveal. Uh, <laughs> gender reveal. <laughs> Me calling men women and calling women men. Y'all know these um these unisex names and I want to be politically correct <laughs> and everything. So I always go towards a, a female. <laughs> I want to go up on his job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't escalate the issue anymore. You're under pressure. He's under pressure. I don't think going up to the job will solve anything. <laughs> West Coast Sky said, I thought there was a mother too. I'm sorry. Knock that bam upside his head. <laughs> oh, man. The thing is. <laughs> oh. Yes. No, even if he's the dad, I don't think he didn't knock him upside his head. Because now that I know there's two men, two men, and that aggression. That mess, um, that um, that aggression between two men, that could get overheated. Somebody get hurt. I would suggest, um, and like you said, you don't want to get the police involved. But police, the, the they does escort. You know, they could escort him out your home. They don't have to really lock him up. You could call and say, hey, um, I, you know, you probably could say, I, you know, I'm not want my son here anymore. He went to work, beat up. Mm. I, you know, I just said, this dude, at the end of the day, everything that everyone's throwing out here is our opinion. You well, I'm so glad we made you feel better. Everything that everybody throwing out here is is is, is truly is an opinion. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us on this platform, we have kids. Um, This is your child. You know your situation. You know whether or not if you feel safe or not. Um, but most definitely don't put him or him or yourself in any any more bodily harm and any more type of dis any more type of situation. Um, 
Do what's best for you and your home at this time. Oh, now I know this guy. Okay. See? See, this is this is where. Yeah, see, this is where. Let me say this right. This when we, this is where hey amazing when we can't distinct trolls from a real life soul squad in a real life situation. You pull us into your endeavor. You pull us into your situation. You open up people's hearts to feel for you. Now I believe you're a troll. You know damn well I'm not sending one of my sons to you wherever you at. Mean that you have to be in the DMV to assist you of pulling someone out your home and put my sons in harm's way. So at this point, please block them. Block them. To got you. Block this man. Oh, God forgive me for that word. Oh, but I am human and I'm still working on stuff. But as people like this, got my whole soul squad team emotional. Got my whole soul squad team prayed up, sending out praises, sending out prayer, you know, giving advice, um, very heartwarming, very empathetic for this man. And the whole time he's a freaking troll. Block him. Block him. We still got to pray. Pray for his soul because it took a lot. It took a lot. If you could put that much time, that much energy into a story, you need to write a book and be on the bestseller list. We take our talent and we use it in derogatory ways against other people instead of using to build yourself up, instead of using to be an entrepreneur, instead of using it to help yourself. Oh, that's what I'm saying. If you got time to do all this, you will be an amazing storyteller and writer because you pulled us in. And to be a writer and a storyteller, you have to be able to pull people into the situation. You got to be able to have people feel it. You did that. Don't feel dumb because he pulled us. <laughs> One over on us. <laughs> it's all good though. Whoo! This is a woo moment. <laughs> Cause we put so much effort and so much work into negativity that if you take that same energy, if you take that same energy and pour it into some good positivity. Man, you will be amazing. You will be amazing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look, they go Big Lonnie. Love. Hey, Big Lonnie. <laughs> and Big Lonnie, we about to leave. Because <laughs> I, got, I got a product. I got to make a video for this company. I done tried their product. I done had. I told my husband I had the product for a week. I tried the product. I done had it for a week. Now it's time for me to um make my video. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this product video up by Wednesday too. So y'all, I got to go to work because she work from home. <laughs> <laughs> this has been amazing, even with the troll. It didn't even bring us down. See, um, Cece so, 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 I went through this yesterday with some same dude talking about that. Uh-huh. Congratulations, Big Lonnie got a promotion on the job. Don't be upset, Tanya. We got to brush it off. Because you know what? The prayers for him is still needed. Shirley said, I felt maybe he was a troll. He kept repeating himself. That's okay. His prayers are still needed. We all need, we need to be touched. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need a little bit of prayer. Everybody need a little bit of prayer. And if we could do that for him, maybe he won't be on doing this to anybody else again. 
Anybody want a job at the trash truck? Depends on what state you're living in. On uh, the next upcoming contest is with um, Kimmy Creation. Um, already decided on the meal. I got everything. My groceries be here today. I'm going to record the video Tuesday night. And look, somebody said, Lonnie, you a troll? Because look, we done had our fill of trolls, okay? Excuse me. I'm going to record the video Tuesday night. Yes, because we said that about my sons. You know I ain't sending my sons to do that. Come on, man. And my sons look me like, are you for real, mom? Um. Oh, I got a lot of uh, Upper Marlboro. Oh, okay. Mm. At one point, we thought Alani was a... um. Troll at one point too, but we still haven't figured him out yet. Remember one time we thought Lonnie was a troll? We don't know that they get they, they get it's an undercover society for trolls and they get paid. Um, but let me get back before I leave real quick. Uh I'm thinking that too. Hey, sunshine. Uh, I gotta go take my medicine and everything, y'all. Uh, I didn't take it this morning. Cause I ate that wonderful leftover. Dinner, I ate it for breakfast. I ate it at 11 on 9. While I was getting ready to come live, I've been eating this food, y'all. It was so good. That left though, that pot roast, carrots, mashed potatoes, and sweet potato cornbread, broccoli, and cheese. That stuff was so good. I made that yesterday. That'd be a bit of the day. But um, West Coast, um, all the everything that came. I got everything. The food be here today. And I'm making the video tomorrow night. And it's gonna go on my TikTok. The um, contest, I know a lot of you Soul Squad members do not have TikTok. And um, the contest is, um, I don't know if they get paid to amaze me. I be saying that because they work like they do. <laughs> they work like they do amaze me. I don't know. I say it's a, it's a society. There's so many of them. They work. They get, they might got a union and everything on thing because they work like they get paid. Okay. They they put in the hard work like they get paid. <laughs> um. The kitty creation contest, unfortunately, is through um, it is through um. That's the day for our next. Here, it's sitting right here. This stuff gonna be sitting here. Look, it's sitting right here. It's gonna be here. I don't drink. That's one more time. It's through TikTok because she's very popular on TikTok. That's her main platform. So the con um the contest is through TikTok, and it comes. You got to get a lot of likes, and then plus she's also going to review the videos, and she's also going to pick someone personally too. So if you don't have a TikTok and you feel like getting a TikTok, when I tell you guys my video up, and you can make a TikTok, then you can cancel it once you like me. I would truly appreciate it. <laughs> and Maisie said, girl, not a you and you never know. Hey. I don't know how her content's going to work. Um, I just know that it is on TikTok. My video will be up on my TikTok. And once I do the hashtags, uh, hashtag, um, Kimmy contest and do everything she said in the contest. I don't know if she's going to grab the video and put it on her TikTok. Um, her and her people will go look at everybody TikToks that has, because you got to put um, hashtag Kimmy contest. Um, oh, uh, um, they already got me beautiful. Um, so, um, I'm going to have a video by Wednesday. I'm announcing when the video go up. And if you don't have TikTok, if you, if you don't mind just making an account, hit like, and then you could delete your account. I would be so grateful if you had the time to do that. But if not, you know, the video is going to be on there. I know you guys got me in your heart and we're going to go with it. We're going to go for it. Um, I cooked last night. So the video, I cooked my Sunday dinner, which I made, um, Roast carrots and onions, broccoli and cheese, sweet potato, cornbread, and brock and um garlic, garlic butter, herb, mashed potatoes. Mm. Yeah, you made me miss what they were saying. Who Ronnie was saying? We gotta kick these shows out of here. 
It is a contest not about her going hard. It's about you using one of her seasonings and being creative with making a dish. So um, it's all good. I see her as I see her as a wonderful entrepreneur, but her food look good. Her food look good. I bet you it tastes good. That's why, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, but um, I'm going to post the video um, on my food channel too. But when I post it on my food channel, it's going to be vertical. Excuse me. Because um, YouTube been pushing out this thing with that to our algorithms and sending us messages telling us that um, vertical videos are in. People are loving vertical videos. They are suggesting. I did too. No, remember, James, I said I cooked yesterday. I did a roast beef dinner. That video will be up today. I'm not cooking on Monday. Monday, I have, I have to do work and um, partnerships on my vlog channel. So I did a food video yesterday. It's going to get posted on my um, it get posted on my Sober Tea channel this evening. And I'm in, after this, I got to go straight to work um, making a video. I got two videos for two, um, one brand and another um, thing. And so, thank you so much, James. So, um, when I did push out the two food videos, um, some people didn't like it. And I know, like I said, we don't like change. And, and what you two do... Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, trust me, Ronnie. I'm going to. I'm going to. Because she, that's what she's looking for, creation. She look, You know, you had to buy her seasoning. And make a dish with her seasoning. I bought her seasoning. Um, I'm trying to go for the night, CC. Hopefully tonight. Um, I bought her seasoning, and, and I'm doing a dish with her seasoning. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do me, and I'm gonna do my best. I don't use no salt. What are you talking about? So you know you're not a fan because. I don't use salt. Everybody know I don't like salt. I use powder everything. So I know you got to be a troll. I use garlic powder, onion powder. I don't use salt. I barely even use salt when I got a ball of water. So block Ronnie. Block him. <laughs> I said block him. <laughs> so you know you're a troll. So you got to use uh, salt down all that salt to use. I only use salt. So I already know you don't look at my food videos. I'm a powder girl. I'm sorry, do I go to um what do I go to so I can watch? Uh so he must be a contestant. Who knows? I don't know. Don't eat kid. Um I'm gonna put it up on my food channel too. I'm gonna put it up on my food channel too. But it's gonna be vertical, like I said, because TikTok, you gotta record vertical. It means upwards. So when it hit the food channel, it's gonna be vertical because I'm because I don't have two phones with that. I record horizontal for one and vertical. I do everything on my one iPhone. One day I'll be able to get a um get another iPhone. Then I baby do do double blogging, double recording with that. I could double that. I could um do one vertical for TikTok and still record the horizontal for the food channel. But um, YouTube is throwing out this vertical. They saying that it's the most popular now. People love it. Try to go vertical. So when I did it, I didn't, you know, a lot of people really didn't like it too much. So my video's going back horizontal because this will be all used to and I'll stay vertical on my um, TikTok. But when you get this TikTok video, it's going to be vertical because I'm going to be sharing it from TikTok to my um food channel because it's going to be my contest video but you guys who um see it you guys could like it over there on my channel too and maybe um she may come to youtube and um see it too i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna share it on all my platforms oh you got a barbershop oh so hit me up, James. You should sell breakfast plates, especially over here at Cap the Heights at my barber shop. Oh, hit me up. We probably can make things happen because I can always use you extra coins. We probably could make things happen. James, email me at sobert45 at gmail.com. Let me know. Um, we probably could do something. Thank 
That's that's great, Mr. Lewis. That's wonderful. I block people because of the rudeness. That's why I block them. Because, first of all, I block them because it's my channel. And um, YouTube gets set, set that up for the right to the right that I could do that. Would you, if you did, and this is my place of business. This is not just entertainment. I get paid for my content that I put up on here. Would you like it if someone constantly come to your job and say rude things to you, say rude things to your employee, and you allow them to be there, you allow them to come there every day? So, I don't want them. That, that content, them trolls, it affects my Soul Squad members, and it affects me. It brings down the morale when we're trying to have a good time. That's why I block them. And this is just not entertainment. I am an entrepreneur. I get paid for what I do, and I love to bring in good content. And we have good and positive vibes over here. So until you allow them to come to your job and do the things that they're doing, and it's okay with you, then you'll understand what I'm saying. That's why we say block them. No, it was a good question. It was a good question, and I answered the question to the best of my knowledge, and I'm not being rude. It's honesty, and so that's, that's, that's just what it is. You wouldn't want to, you want to come to your job and do that. Troll alert, new life journey. That's, that's my real sister. That's not, she, that's, that's not a troll. That's my sister. So that's all I'm just saying. Yeah, we got to block him because he... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, they, they really trying us this morning. They are trying us this morning. Oh, thank you, Curry. <laughs> they are trying us this morning. Yes, they are. It's so good. It's so good. That's why we know Soul Squad. Yes, that's how we know that we are doing things right over here. You know, that's just, for real, for real, that's just another confirmation. This life of competitive and this life of, of being, 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 being in a competition every day of life. That's how we know we're doing things right over here. Because at the end of the day, if we weren't doing things right, we wouldn't have these people here trying to break us down. Now, you see D.C., I don't see D.C. no more. D.C., see if you say something, because I, I don't see you no more. I see somebody say, hi, D.C., I don't even see D.C. in this chat. Don't tell me that was a one-day a one day thing, and I have not been live since you've been on here, so I ain't touched nothing. She told me, stop touching stuff. <laughs> I haven't touched anything. I do not see her. Hey, synthetic hit, how you doing? Hence. Oh, no. Y'all see DC? I don't see her. I did push a button on the side. I still don't see her. At least one one minute of a video is easy to start a hit. I did not break it, Faith. I have not been live since she been here. So the day I thought it was a permanent fix. I have not been live since she been here. This is my first live. This is my first live since she left. So, I don't know what happened. Haven't touched anything or nothing. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's the wrong button. Nope, I don't know. I 
Highlight saved to your channel as unlisted. I don't know what this. Now you got me touching stuff. I ain't touching nothing else. I am. Um, the buttons on the side, they ain't doing nothing for me. That's a mute. These buttons on the side ain't doing nothing for me. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a one-thing situation. Because it's... Maybe because that was on that line. I don't know what you did. Good morning, bird. DC cool. DC is a woman. I don't know. This YouTube stuff, when it comes to these chats, is crazy. Andrew! Come on. Then you got to do better. You know that. All right. Tell her as I said, okay. My sister, where you gonna park to? You paying for parking? And my um, everybody home today. I don't have no parking space available. So you know you gotta download the app. That's how people don't come visit. You gotta pay for parking where I live at. Like when DC came, my family was at work. So she was at a park in my parking space that I paid for. No, we don't got parking passes, we got um meters. They got to download the meter and then they have to put money. But it's like 25 cents every 30 minutes. Like my sister came over here and she stayed an hour and 30 minutes. She paid 87 cents. Yeah, we got meters. We don't have no parking passes. But I pay for parking. So when, when my car is not in my parking spot, somebody could park in my parking spot and they don't get told because it's up to me to get people told out our personal spot. And one night we had to get somebody told and my, my, well, we felt bad, but my sons that got home, it was like 12, 15, 12, 30. My sons got home from work and it was a car. It was a car parked in our parking, in our parking space and we paid for our parking space. Um, so shouldn't nobody park in the parking space. So, um, so um, we waited and my sons waited and my sons was like, the tow truck was already out there. It was two tow trucks out there already towing people cars. And so they so the tow truck people said, we be back because, you know, we only ones that could call a tow truck. And um, we didn't want to get people car towed. We don't know how long they've been parked there. My son was blowing a horn, hoping somebody would look like a window. But they sit out there. My son stayed outside for an hour. Wait and blowing the horn, and then so when the tow truck finally came, my son was like, "Yeah, take it away, cause we need our parking space." And um, and I said, when the people woke up that morning and they saw their car gone, first of all, the person that you visited, they should let you know there's a big old sign there. You know you're parking in somebody's spot. So the person that you visited, they should say, "Oh, you can't park there. This somebody's spot." It got us the information, not our name, but you know, my my stuff is right there. So you should know you can't park in nobody's spot. So that means if you park in somebody's spot and it's one, two o'clock in the morning, you still there. You you must got money. You must got $150. I think it's $180 to get told. You you think we gonna let you stay in our spot? Because our complex is big at certain days and certain weekends, there's nowhere to park. Not even in the um not even in the um what's the things i said the meter spots the meter spots be full the regular spots with your um sticker they be full and the people who own their own parking spots like we own our own parking spot if we didn't have our parking spot we wouldn't have nowhere to park and so my son ain't want to get them told but they got tired of sitting outside they sit outside over an hour you know, in the car, and they kept blowing the horn, hoping somebody would peep out the window and say, oh, let me go move my car. But no, we, they, we had to get their car towed. I said, I wonder how they felt when they got up in the morning time. No, their car was gone, but that was their fault. It, it's their biggest day, and it tells you that you could get towed. Um, and it tells you that um, it'll get towed. 
stop down talking tow truck. What is you talking about? Ain't nobody down talking to tow trucker. Boy, bye. Block him. We ain't damn by down talking no tow truck driver. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God, y'all! What is this morning? <laughs> the trolls are popping this morning. <laughs> they are popping. Mmm. Oh, it's two fifty. Oh wow! But Val's been a complex. It's not two fifty. It's either one eighty or one fifty. I think it's one eighty though. On the sign say one eighty. I believe our sign say one eighty. So, yeah, I'm always going to secure my pocket spot. And like my son, he drove by a car. And um, my son drove by a car the next month. So each person, you allow up to two private parking spaces. Hey, Aries, so we got one more parking space that we could buy. We allow up to two parking spaces. Now, with us, even if I allow somebody to park in my parking space, I could still park on a property because I got a sticker in my car. I could allow somebody park in my spot and I could park on a property because I got a sticker. But I cannot park at the um, meters. Even though I got a sticker in my car, if I park at the meters, I'll get told. Because the meters is not for me because I got a sticker in my car and then I got my own... Um, and I got my own parking spot. So if I park at a meter, I have to still pay. And if I don't pay, I'll get told. So I still have two options because I can move my car out my private parking spot. And I can park in a regular parking spot and won't get told because I have a sticker. Or I can park in my private parking spot. But some nights when you come home, everything is taken up. And then when you come home, everything is taken up, including the spot that you paid for. You have to tell people. And then what I'm not going to do, even if we come home, my sons get off of work, someone's in that parking spot. And say there is a regular parking spot out there and I could park in because I got a sticker. I won't get told. I won't do that because I'm not going to allow no one to park in a spot that I paid for. Then they would constantly think they could do that. So I'm not going to do that. If I come home, I don't care if it's 10 regular parking spots out there that say I could park in it because I got a sticker. I will not park in it because I pay for a spot. Why would I allow you to stay parked in my spot and go park somewhere else? And then every time I come home, you'll be in my spot thinking that's a good thing. No, you got to nip that in the bud as much as you don't want to. You got to nip that in the bud right off the top. And, you know, I be feeling for people, but you read and you know. I'm feeling good today, honey. Yep. So, yeah. So, that's why. Oh, y'all saw the head hot flashes. I'm getting hot. It's debit card. So, you got to download it. I got it on my phone, too. You got to download it. So, you download the app to your phone. Um, he's getting a hey. What type of car Fufu getting? What he said the name of that car was. I forgot the name of that car. He said he getting. And so he gonna be parking. I forgot the name of it. I gotta ask him. Y'all know they don't like me calling their name. Hey, Fufu. I have a guy named the car he said he getting. He keeps showing me the picture. He showed me again last night. You work at CarMax and Waldorf? For real? But see, he ain't trying to get a car with a car, no. He got a certain amount of money that he working with. I ain't trying to put his business up there, but it's over four. And um, he don't want a car, no. He don't want no Lincoln Town car. That's an old person car. I forgot the type of car he getting. It's great. It look almost like a sports car. I forgot the name of it. But he don't want a car note. So he um it's um I forgot. He he showed it to me again last night. He um it's a big car. 
it, it's, it, it, it looked almost like a charger, but it's not a charger. I forgot the name of it that he told me. Anyway, but um, yeah, so he got to get a pocket space. He going to pay his little $45 a month for his pocket space. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about no cars. I don't know about no cars, but yeah. So, yep, y'all. I'm about to get up out of here. I don't think so. No, it's not that. I forgot the name of it. But it looks more like a sports car. Yeah. So, Tia, you coming? I'm about to call you. I'm about to get off this live. I thank you guys. Guys, don't forget to check out our girl, SA Graphic. Um, anybody need her email address, you know, just hit me up. And um, I'll give you um, I'll give you her email address. Remember, she do graphics. I think them two people are trolls, but it is we at the end. Of, we're at the end, and I think the trolls was coming in. You guys made our day. You were part of our um, you were part of our um live, and we welcome you to a certain extent. Thank you for being you. Thank you, everybody, for being you. Hope you guys everybody have a wonderful day. Check out Girl SA Graphics for um, thumbnails, for um, designs, for logos, for T-shirts. Just email me. And I, <laughs> I don't know why they're here because we've been successful. <laughs> Faith, we've been successful. And when there comes success, it comes people who want to tear you down. We, we're, 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 we're being successful. That's what it is. We got rid of a whole lot of them, but they just keep easing their way back in here. But it's all good. We got something that they want. I don't know what we got over here. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day. Yes, it has, Miss Finney. Yes, it really has. <laughs> I see you guys tomorrow. I gotta go do some work. I love you so, squads. Um, you know, be the best you could be. We got the victory. Yes, we did, sis. CC. Yes, we did. <laughs> he said, I see you at the altar. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. I am out.